Yeah, by early morning, it was already a long day for a lot of people in Manchester, even longer for those in law enforcement, as the hours-long manhunt was intense and certainly rattled a lot of nerves. Just after 2 a.m., shots rang out in the west side of Manchester. From a location he describes as second in ferry, Officer Ryan Hardy radios for help, saying he's been hit. In a matter of seconds, police swarmed the area along with a canine unit to track a suspect. At 2.33 and less than a mile away, shots are fired again, this time striking Officer Matthew O'Connor in the area of Rimmon and Putnam. As 911 dispatchers begin to answer a wave of emergency calls from startled west side residents, more resources are already on the way in the form of state police, SWAT teams, and the state police chopper from Massachusetts. In the darkness, an intense manhunt is well underway as armed to the teeth officers scour the neighborhood for who witnesses describe as a long-haired male wearing a trench coat. A shelter-in-place order is given, putting much of Manchester's west side into lockdown and classes are canceled for area schools. Just after 6 a.m., Manchester Mayor Ted Gatsis emerges from Catholic Medical Center with good news regarding the wounded officers. They seem to be fine. With no word on a suspect, though, west side residents spend the morning on edge. At 10.15, the shelter-in-place order is lifted, and by noontime, while not confirming a capture, Police Chief Nick Willard says the manhunt is over. The city is safe. By this time, Officer O'Connor has been released from the hospital and sent home, while Officer Hardy chooses to be transferred by ambulance to a hospital in Boston, where he was greeted with a gripping display of law enforcement unity. Now, while we did learn that the suspect was actually apprehended right around 5 a.m., it would be several hours before we learned that publicly, before that all clear was given, because it's time that police say it was critical in gathering evidence to preserve the integrity of their investigation. Reporting live, Josh McKelvin, WMUR News 9.